Hey, what is up, you sexy beast? Soul Demar Tristan here with Will. <laughs> and he, we made some awesome videos together, but he's actually here for ghostly advice this time. Nothing too dirty this time, but you know, we've made some videos. Because you know, I'm the dirty guy. Pretty, yeah, he's the dirty guy. Damn. Whoop, whoop. Guy's weird. <laughs> anyway, um, so there's this girl that I used to date, and it only lasted a couple of weeks. She seemed pretty shy. I wanted to kiss her and could tell she wanted to kiss me, but she was too shy. I was thinking of asking her back, but I don't know how far a relationship will go. I don't know if this is too young, if I'm too young, but I'm in English 6th grade, basically. I thought that would help you. This would really help if you put this in ghostly advice. It would make my day. Keep up the good work. So I'm going to preface this by saying you're, you're young, dude. You're in the 6th grade, so probably 11 or 12. So dating shouldn't be this really big thing for you because it won't be serious at all. I didn't start dating till 8th grade. I didn't have my first kiss till the summer of after 7th grade, but then I started fast. Yeah. So I was a late bloomer, but then everything happened really fast for me. <laughs> like I had sex three weeks later, like, like no. Yeah, no. <laughs> but like, yeah, so you're, you're pretty young, and so relationships shouldn't be like the most of your worries right now, but it's something to consider like, around his age, I think, so to yeah, start. Yeah, might as well just start doing it. Yes. You never, you can never start too late. You don't want to be the bitch who's like yeah. hasn't kissed anyone and is yeah. a senior in high school. Yeah, and Alex, <laughs> you'll be there. Chad. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, <laughs> sorry to name names, but he won't let you do that. That awkward moment when he does. Anyway, so the um, you said you wanted to get back together with her, but she didn't want to kiss you. And my friend uh, Logan actually had this exact same problem, and. It ended up being so bad that they had to break up because it's like, look, she didn't even want to kiss me and, you know, he, he wanted an advancement in the relationship and she wasn't down for it after a month. And there's a difference between being too shy to kiss and being not proof. wanting to yep. kiss. If she was just too shy, you can then just man up barrier. and kiss her yeah, and just she'll do like it. fucking love it. Yeah, just do it, like, <laughs> do it against your will. <laughs> like, I hate to say it that way, but like, fucking just surprise it. Just be like... Hey, so I got this for you, and just kiss her, just like boom, just like Girls fucking. Girls love that shit. Like, yeah, they just love it. Love it. Well, so, you, well, if they like you, <laughs> not, like a, some not like a girl. Thing. <laughs> if you two are going out, that you cool. just kiss and her. If, yeah, you know, if she likes you, yeah. go for it. If she's you guys nervous. broke up because she doesn't actually like you, then don't go for it because that mm -hmm. could be really bad. Yep. But dude, I mean, she sounds nervous. It's all hell, and if you sound like you backed out too, because like you need to follow through with it. If she isn't right. So if you see her, you know, like turning away or whatever, just look at her and boom, just kiss her. Just go for it and ask her out. Don't be a bitch. After that. And yeah. If she, if she accepts that with open arms. But yeah, that's a weird situation. But let's talk about the main concept of getting back together with ex-girlfriends. Because that's the thing that's sure. really interesting about the email is, bro, if I were you, there are certain situations where you never want to get back with your ex. Cheating, uh... Cheating is the main one, in my opinion. Yeah. Cheating is just the end-all, be-all. Um, the other... It really depends why you broke up. If you broke up just because you guys just, like, weren't feeling it, and you just kind of ended it, and then you miss her a few weeks later, totally get back together. But there's a difference between missing her and missing having a girlfriend. Yeah. If you miss yep. having a girlfriend, and she's the only one that will get no. with you... Don't you're settle. Is you're shit. settling. Don't. And don't settle, and don't be a bitch. I'm not saying put your expectations so high that you'll never get a girlfriend... But don't just settle and be like, well, no one else will go out with me. No! Yeah. Take the dick out of your ass. <laughs> and don't be a bitch. I mean, just... Good cop, bad cop. The, um, yeah, dude, like, if you... I completely agree with Will on that last part. It's just like, don't have a girlfriend just because to have a girlfriend, right? Actually have some feelings for this girl. Like, if you break up with her for some petty little thing, maybe get in an argument or something, uh, that's not too major, and... And then you're like, oh shit, well, I really miss this girl. It can't just be like, I really miss, you know, snuggling someone or really going to miss the movies. Poon. Yeah, Poon is nice. <laughs> but. You know. Yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs> Bastard. And so, just, you know, you have to miss the actual girl, not the don't, relationship. Don't just get back together with her because it's a yep. girl. Yep. And so, all right, we're moving into the second email because we have a pretty different set of emails this time. So. Um, I'm in a weird situation. I was wondering if you could help me out. I'll start off with some background info. I'm a junior in high school like you. My parents are strict as hell. And this sounds bad, but I really don't mind my friends are judging me. And they'll probably make fun of me if I start going out. There's this girl I like. We know each other for about three years. And we started talking only 
Well, we started talking often recently, and I think she likes me too. I don't know how to ask her out or if I should at all. My friends are super religious, and my religion does not allow... She says his religion, but and we'll get into that in a second. Does not allow any types of relationships except for marriage. So, like, you gotta start somewhere. Like, fuck. Yeah, <laughs> so if my parents find out I'm fucked, and I don't have a car, so we even if we do go out, I won't really be able to see her. And even if I don't really have time for a relationship, I would like one, and uh, if relationship is not going to work for me, should I try to get some, or would that not even work? Help. So the, this, the last part of the email really tells me that you don't really agree with this religion thing, well, this specific religion overall, right? When, when Tristan first told me about this email, I thought he said you're 14. If you're a fucking junior in yeah, high dude. school, yep. make your freaking opinion like well i didn't i didn't see us i didn't see that no like, yeah I'm like if you're yeah. young you might just have to deal with it if you're a junior in high school holy shit Date, dude have your opinion and yeah. like if your parents really have that much of a bitch fit about it then bitch they will you're just like <laughs> yeah I, that's the one thing i hate about religion is like oh my yeah. god you can't date it's like so what let the kid yeah. do what he wants well, yeah seriously and if you don't have a car and your parents really get that mad about it what the fuck are you gonna lose Yep. So, <laughs> yeah. if you have but nothing is, to lose, then go for it. That is hilarious. And I'm not saying be an asshole to your parents and no. like cuss them out and fucking kick the, your dad in the nuts. But tell them how you feel. Yep. And if you don't, if you follow the religion, great. If you don't follow that specific part of your religion, tell your then parents. Don't. Or if, if you don't like the religion at all, tell them. And if yeah. they don't accept you for who you are, then they're asshole parents anyways. Yeah. And so just be like, hi. Um. So I had a question for you. I, I really like this girl and I'd like to go out with her, but it, I know it goes against the things you guys believe in, but I would really like to be with this girl. And I know, because me personally, like, uh, I'm not that religious, but you could tell them that you, um, that you're not that, you don't agree with the religion either completely, right? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Um, you could just tell them how you feel, be honest, be very sincere about it, and then get their... If you don't get their permission, you can do one of two things. You could be like, fuck, fuck them and date her. Or you can just be like, date her in private, right? And I don't know where you see this girl. I don't know if it's at church. I don't know if it's at school. You didn't specify. But if it's at school, spend as much time with your, her. Then you'll as, see her every day. So. Her as you can with school. Also, what you could do is you could lie and say you're going to a friend's house and then go to her house also. And then if put her, it in parents her butt. Are, yeah, and just stick it in her ass. And so... The, um, if her parents are okay with you being there, but you don't have to tell your parents if you, if they don't accept it, but you sound, try to, try to ask Mormon them. sounds Mormon now that I think of it. Yeah. And if it is, I'm really sorry, because that sucks. Ugh. But, and then the last part is if he's not, if, if he's not, in a If it's not working out, should I get some? Yeah. Okay. First it, off. You could hook up. You, you totally could, could hook up. You totally could. But also, if you really haven't had a girlfriend it ruins, before. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, come on if you're really gonna if you're gonna be an asshole and do that with your first girl and get some and then dump her you're never or, gonna or have not a even date her the, yeah, yeah you're never gonna have a girlfriend again in high school because it's just everyone's gonna mm. fuck you over and be like oh my god you're an asshole don't so, just go get some if so, you don't like this chick that's fucked up yeah because you you seem like you really like this girl because it's this much of a problem right but i would yeah i agree if it's a girl you don't really care about that so much then you're don't be wrong i'm yeah. all for getting some yeah, but with but, the girl you like don't just don't fuck it up don't be the ass don't. i'm all for sex but with the girl you like i mean that, that'll ruin it I that'll ruin that. it especially if you guys weren't dating and yeah then, Anyway, um, go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> what hell? <laughs> Slow down. So, um, <laughs> move, <laughs> moving on to the last email is before I say anything further, I would really like to, ugh, I would like this, fuck, he didn't, I hate how these are worded. Uh, I didn't fix them. Sorry. I will. Um, anyway, I want you to keep me anonymous. I'm a guy, I'm 14 and I'm in the eighth grade. I used to have three friends, quote, quote, uh, much like some from your older emails that were my friends again <laughs> I recently being picked on and brutally beaten by all all of them all three of them attacking me usually in order to go to only my friend's house like who's actually a friend I have to walk slash bike by them and this is when it usually happens the beatings aren't the worst part they have gotten they have kind of gotten to my friend oh god I don't even know they have kind of gotten my friend that I've known since birth to go with them as well. I get picked on at school too. I don't want 
to put up with this bullshit out of school either. I have tried different routes and everything, but it just doesn't seem to work. The only thing that makes me smile are YouTubers like you and my only friend outside of school. I have like three others at school. I'm not suicidal, but I just wanted to end this shit. A response would be awesome. Okay, so first off, the way he sounds like it is that you're super end with it. If you have three other friends at school, you can go two ways with this. Yep. Three. If you've been three, three ish. If you've really been that badly murdered, <laughs> murdered. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you haven't been murdered. Please say. <laughs> okay, if you've been that badly beaten, you sound like you haven't gone to the cops or the parents. Yep. If it's been that bad, the parents would have noticed and done something. And if so, nothing is. Yeah, happened, that that's what I'm curious though. Is like. If Someone would fucking notice. Like if you're if they're that beating, badly if beaten, your that parents badly are gonna beaten, notice. Like, yeah. Anyway, keep going. So either go to the police and go to your parents, and then we'll stop. But the only bad thing that could happen with that being a, known as a snitch, being known as a snitch, and if you're in high school, you don't want to go into freaking high school as a if, snitch. God damn, I can't talk either. It's good. It's if good. you're in middle school and you don't want to be going to high school known as a snitch, like that will just immediately end your high school career, mm -hmm. and you'll be the guy that does get constantly pick on because you're known as a snitch, a bitch that goes to the police, <laughs> and hey, it rhymes. Yeah. Uh, but you just don't want to be that guy. So you could do it if the beatings are that bad. Yep. But so, and then the second route is you say you have three other friends at school. Spend time with them all day have someone around you at all times and it seems like the beatings happen outside of school yeah. like you're saying like these certain routes we'll get to that in a second but um anyway yes yeah, spend time with them in school so they don't so, pick on you in a group and like if you just get get your three friends at school and just have them go the same route as you do yep and if those other assholes show up and they start a fight you could they either they start a fight with you because yep. you're in a group yep. and that means they're just really bitches and they'll never really take you on or you need or, to beat the shit out of them and end it once and for all. And so, that's, yeah, that's the second thing. If you... Which is the last possible route. Because if you do this with your friends and they stop, then you have no reason to go any further. You have no reason to beat the shit out of them. But if it continues, and even they, with friends, this needs to end. And it's obviously not ending by... I don't know why your parents haven't reported that. Yeah. Will, you mentioned that. And I thought that was really interesting because, like... Dude, if I came home with a black eye, like, my parents would flip shit. And, they, you know, they'd question me and stuff, but... So, if the three friends at school, if they're that good of friends, if you're all a bunch of small guys, I'm sorry, make friends with bigger people. But here's the thing. If I really had this big of a problem, and a group of people were beating the shit out of me, I'd get my friends and go to them. If they started shit, I mean, if they didn't start anything, big whoop de doo then they're just a bunch of bitch, bitch ass... Niggas. <laughs> that can't even take you unless you're alone. If they start shit when you're in a group, don't hold back. Yeah. Seriously, beat the fucking shit out of them until they're unconscious, bleeding <laughs> on the ground. Oh my god. <laughs> but like... Don't let the people mess with you. Like, and like, that's the thing. I think Will is completely right in that you don't want to be known as a snitch and you don't want to be known as a bitch. And either way, you're at a loss. So you can either end it now... Or continue to take beatings, but I really hope that like being in a group with people ends it. But if it doesn't, this needs yeah. This so needs seriously, to happen. get your group and make sure they're good friends with you. Because if yep. they're good friends, they They'll will have back, back you up. Well, in a you, fight. you need to talk about it though. You need to tell them <laughs> just so they know. Just like, so if they you're know going that by, shit <laughs> might happen. So, so like if you're like, all right, well, my friends are gonna beat the shit out of you. They're like, no, we're not. <laughs> uh, yeah, make sure they're gonna help yeah, you before make, you get yeah, all guns make, blazing make and walk into it. Make sure they have your back. Hang out with them. If shit starts, literally get into a group fucking brawl. And do not stop dude, beating the shit out dude, of them. Dude, do whatever you can because maybe, so if there's three of you guys and there's, would be you also, then let's say you're getting, you know, beat up by one guy a little bit, but your friends, you know, prevail with some other people and then they can start helping you. So just fight it out, dude. No keep matter fighting. What, no matter what, keep fighting. The worst fighting. thing in a fight is when you walk away too early or if you cower out like a bitch. Literally go... Until the so end. you literally can't anymore. <laughs> yeah. And if yep. you fight back and you beat the shit out of these people... They will be like, damn! <laughs> you and your group will seriously be, have such a better reputation in high school, and no one will fuck with you again. Yeah, and if like... you beat the living crap out of someone, break their nose, leave them bloody <laughs> on the freaking street... Jesus Christ, will you vicious fuck. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, If, I, the, if it's yep. the beatings are that bad, you yep. need to teach them a freaking lesson. Yep. And if they used to be friends, then they're assholes, and they deserve it anyways. Beat the shit out of them, and no one will mess with you again. Show them how it is, because... And it's also karma. 
they need, like, in my thought process, when Will initially proposed this idea, I was like, whoa, dude, that sounds a little bit... No, these if these guys have beat the shit out of you, they deserve what's coming to them. I'm not saying kill them, but I'm glad you're not suicidal. There are several options you can take, but, so let's just go over those real quick. So you can, cops or parents, these would be the last ones I would choose. Alright, definitely last ones. Oh, no, 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 let, let's go in order here. Let's go in order. So the first one is you want to have a group of friends go with you. I know you've tried different routes and stuff. Have a group of friends that go with you. Second one is if they don't stop with that group of friends, beat the shit out of them. Third and last option, tell the cops or police, parents, whatever. Because... Yeah. That, dude, if that were the case, you have no other option. Yeah, and you really just, seriously, in the fight, don't back down. Beat keep the crap fighting. out of just them. Keep and fighting. no just keep one fighting. is going to mess with you after that. Like, oh my god. that Because, like, if, like, if, like, if you beat the shit out of someone, mm -hmm. people aren't going to want to mess with you again. Yeah. And so, especially this group, because they'll be like, wow, this kid isn't going to take it anymore. And they'll see that, and they'll be like, wow, okay, let's go pick on some other faggot. And as bad as that is, it's true. And, um, I, best of luck to you, bro. I really hope you guys... Oh, yeah. and you should... Email us back, because I really want to hear what yes. happens. Yeah, dude, please. <laughs> I'm actually really curious, too. So please email me back, bro. Best of luck to you. I really hope this helps. Uh, have a great day. And remember the fact that we love you. Ah, <laughs>